everyone, it's me, Chris, from Body Nova Fitness Coaching. And I, I wanted to talk to you about this so you can, uh, you know, I, I want it in people's minds because, you know, warm weather is coming, or actually, in some cases, it's here. You know, it depends on where you live. And people are wanting, wanting to be uh, now losing weight and getting uh, leaner to get into their, you know, get into their summer clothes, you know. Can't hide those big heavy jackets anymore. You know, those real baggy sweats. You know, it's, it's going to be warm outside. Tank tops and shorts, right? Right. So with that being said, I'm answering the question, does eating clean equate to getting lean or um, mean you're losing weight? Uh, and because it's a common conception or misconception, you know, it's like, okay, well, to lose weight, you only worry about eating healthy foods, you know, um, right? And, and that's a, well, it depends, okay? And here's why, All right? So we know, we know that healthier foods, you know, when you have the healthier foods, when you um, trade in, you know, bread for um, maybe potatoes or something like that, something that's higher in fiber, um, you know, that they're usually less calorically dense, meaning that per for the same amount of size or the, or the same weight of food, there's usually less calories. Changing, trading in um, minute rice for salads usually would mean you would be eating less. But at the same time, you know, that's not always the case, you know. And um, what I mean is, okay, so you have this, you trade in the rice for the salad. Did you, what dressing did you put on that salad? Okay. Did the dressing bring the calories back up? All right, even olive oil and vinegar, you know, olive oil is what, uh, about what, 100 and 115 calories per tablespoon, you know, or per two tablespoons. So if you put more than that on your salad, you could be bringing the calories back up, okay? Because at the end of the day, if all the foods are clean and you still are eating more calories than you're expending, you're gonna lose, you're not gonna lose weight. You're either gonna hold on to weight, be the same weight, or you're going to, um, you're gonna gain weight. And see, that's the thing. So um, you wanna keep that in mind. And this is why I'm big on tracking and, you know, grabbing a food scale, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and you're measuring the amounts of food that you're getting, you know, so you can, uh, so you can have an idea of the amounts. So now, so now if you go somewhere down the line after you've uh, weighed in and you're like, well, geez, I'm still the same way. What is it from? And if you don't have body fat available, I want to throw that out there, you know, okay. So somehow calories in and calories out is, um, you know, I I'm still getting in more calories than I need, you know, or than I want to lose weight. Right. So you can go out and say, okay. Let's start. Let's uh, let's lower calories a little bit, and then you can see. You know, maybe you can get that that ball rolling again. Okay, but if everything is random and you're guessing, you're just basically just throwing random amounts down, and you're not tracking it, and you're not keeping track of how much. It, you, you don't know what to fix. Okay, so I mean, in most cases, because you know people don't want to do the measuring thing, or or the lazy or on the measuring thing, or and things like that, or don't want to track the calories and stuff. You always have your hand portions. You know, you can go to that, you know, um, palm size uh, for women, for protein, okay? Two for men, all right? You can go um, clinch fist or two clinch fists, clinch fist for women, two clinch fists for men of uh, vegetables, fibrous vegetables, all right? You know, and um, a cupped hand for starch vegetables, one for women, two for men. You know, and then fat, one thumb, two thumbs for men, okay? And you could do that, and you could just say, okay, I'm getting these amounts, okay? And then that at least, it might not be hard numerical data, but it's at least something to work from where you're keeping track of how much you're eating, you know? And um, maybe you can make an adjustment later, at a later date, okay? That's something to think about, okay? Now, the other thing is stress does alter these, the equation outside of making you want to eat more. We do understand that or eat more of the wrong foods. But, you know, if you're highly stressed, if you're not sleeping, you, you know, and there's studies to, go to prove this, 
if you're a highly stressed and poor sleeping uh, person, you know, your resting metabolic rate, which is the rate that you burn the calories at even if you slept for 24 hours, that goes down. Okay, so it's not always going to be this hard, this hardcore, um, very simple, easy equation, you know. You know, so you might need to manage your lifestyle, you know, to go in addition with those uh, those foods. Okay. Um, also, another thing that might be stressful is if you have um, you eat foods that are bad for you, and that might not even be, and that don't mean eating clean. I mean, I had a client where she was allergic to bananas, but she loved to have chocolate covered bananas. You know what I mean? Not understanding that that banana that she was allergic to, and she was having that multiple times per week, you know, could make it harder for you to lose weight even at the calorie deficit because you're jacking up the equation and you're stressing out the body to keep it on. So getting back on track, you know, just because you're eating clean foods, you know, doesn't mean that, um, that you know, that you're going to, that you're eating in a deficit and, and going to lose weight. It's highly likely, you know, if you keep things under control, that you are, but it does not guarantee that you're doing everything uh, to lose weight, okay?